Welcome to the Argos Assembly Guide for Children's Cycles. This video guides you through the basic steps in assembling your Argos cycle. For this cycle, we recommend allowing 60 minutes for completion. This cycle has been rated a level 3 difficulty. Some help may be required. There may be some slight variations between the cycle assembled here and the cycle you have. This is OK, as the procedure is the same. Remember to stay safe and legal with lights, cycle helmet, lock and many more accessories available at Argos now. Unboxing the cycle. Remove the seat and accessories from the box. Take extra care when lifting. When ready, remove the cycle from the box. Help may be required. Start removing the protective packaging. Use scissors to cut the cable ties where necessary. Open the kit box or bag containing the pedals, tools and all the accessories required to assemble the cycle. Attaching the handlebars. When attaching the handlebars, first check the quill nut is loose, which is located at the bottom of the handlebar stem. If not, use the Allen key provided to loosen the quill bolt by turning it anti-clockwise. Make sure the gear and brake cables are not twisted around the frame. Make sure that the front forks are facing the correct way by ensuring the bridge is facing forwards. Check that the front forks, frame and handlebars are correctly aligned before inserting the handlebars. When the handlebars have been inserted, remember to check that they do not exceed the maximum height mark. Finally, tighten the quill bolt to secure the handlebars in place. Inserting the saddle. Align the saddle post with the bike frame. Remember to pay close attention to the minimum and maximum height marks. Insert the saddle post to the desired height. Tighten the seat clamp bolt with the Allen key provided to hold the saddle in place. Attaching the wheel. First, remove the axle protector caps by pulling them off, not turning them. This will prevent the wheel knot getting stuck in the cap. Located on the front forks, loosen the brake cable knot to allow the brakes to part. Returning to the front wheel, loosen the outer wheel nuts and check the rotation of the wheel. When ready, insert the wheel so the axle is located at the base of the forks. Make sure that the wheel retention washer and outer wheel nut is located on the outer side of the forks. Insert the tab of the wheel retention washer into receptacle on the forks on both sides. Hold the brake arms close to the wheel. Pull the brake cable down to remove slack and tighten the bolt. Fitting the stabilizers. Remove the outer nuts and circular washers from the end of the rear axle. Make sure the square washer is located in the receptacle on the bike frame. Slide the stabilizer onto the rear axle, positioning over the square washer. Fit the circular washer and nut onto the axle. Repeat this process for the second stabilizer. Check that the stabiliser wheels do not touch the ground when the bike is standing upright. Attaching the pedals. Firstly, unwrap the pedals. Note the left and right markings. The right-hand pedal always attaches to the side with the chain. Screw the right pedal clockwise and tighten with the spanner. When fitting the left-hand pedal, remember to screw anti-clockwise. Inflating the tyres. Use a pump to inflate the tyres. Check the tyres are inflated to the correct pressure. The recommended pressure will be located on the wall of the tyre. Pre-ride checks. Before riding your new cycle for the first time, let's do some pre-ride checks. Check the saddle is secure by twisting it left and right. Spin the wheel to make sure there's no side-to-side -side movement. Make sure there's no excess play in the wheel hubs by moving the wheel left to right. Check the pedals are fully secure using the spanner provided. Check the brakes are operating correctly. Make sure the handlebars are tight and are turning with the wheel. Assembly complete. 
congratulations, you now know the correct procedure to assemble your new cycle. Remember to take extra care on your first ride. <laughs>